Okay, so hey everyone, this is going to be a tutorial series on Bitwig here, Bitwig Studio. Um, this is the first video. Um, uh, we're going to go over the basic stuff here. Uh, up here we got the header, transport bar, controls, other stuff like that. Menus over here we have the browser. This is where you find your audio effects, audio instruments, VST stuff. We got many other options over here. We'll go into later. Um, down here we'll have devices, which are none right here, as we can see. But and then we have the um, the footer as well, where you have your ranger, range view, mix view, MIDI editor stuff like that, uh, and the mixer, of course. Um, Let's go back to this for now. Um, and over here, we have our tracks. And right now, we have an instrument, virtual instrument, and an audio track. And over here, when we select one of these, we get in for more information. We can change the color, change the name, if you will. Let's put drums in there for now. Um, and of course, I record solo mute, uh, volume, stuff like that. Um, so let's take a quick look at the header here real quick. The first thing you notice is this little button over here. Um, that's for deactivating and activating the audio engine for this document, as it says right there. Um, basically, what that means, if we create a new, notice we have two tabs over here. And we're in a new project now. And it's turned off. So there'll be no audio coming through here. We'll have to turn that on. And then we have audio in this project. Come back to our first project. And it's turned off. So we can turn that back on. And this is pretty self-explanatory. Stops, play, record. We have automation button. And we have... Um, pre-roll for the metrodome right here. So you want one bar count in, two bars, four bars, or none. Um, and we have our, our automation right mode, latch, touch, and right. We'll go in more of that detail about that later. And then over here, we have our overdub. So we can record MIDI stuff uh, in overdub mode. So we don't erase our other stuff. We have punch in, we have a loop mode, we have punch out. Um, here's the turn the metrodome on and off. And then we have metrodome volume. So it ticks in between the metrodome. And so this is our groove thing here. We can set that to shuffle, 16th, eighths, the amount, different accents for quarter notes, eighth notes, 16th notes, all that's good stuff. And then we have our disk usage over here, our computer power, what's going on with the computer. And our tempo, we can slide up and down very easily. Or we can type in there as well. Type in the tempo over here. Um, our, of course, our transport bar where we are in the song. We push play. Okay, so let's say we have our MIDI data here and we have some automation on that. And we want to move this, this button here it'll follow the clip so this the automation is stored in the clip and we also have a restore automation control as well so let's say we have that turned off and we can just restore it um i don't have any automation in here right now but and then over here we have our file menus new projects there's a bunch of stuff here and of course text tool erase tool cut tools and stuff like that. Um, and follow playback, of course. And back over here, we have our, our tabs again. And then our browser. Over here, we have um, Bitwig comes with, Bitwig comes with a bunch of different devices of their own, audio effects, stuff like that. Instruments, drum machines. Uh, other stuff like that. And we have our VST folders and we have other stuff over here samplers, multi samples. So we'll get into this stuff later. 
This is our main browser window here. Down here we have our devices window. Um, let's say we have the drum, drum, let's load the drum thing here real quick. So we have our different devices down here. We got a drum machine down here. We could add on the 8-bit crusher, whatever we want to do here. Um, very similar to Ableton Live. Um, and over here, our instruments have the same kind of icons. Our audio has the same kind of icons. Our, uh, our effect sense have the same kind of icons. And then we have the master, which is the king. So he gets the crown there. Um, and the footer here, again, we have the mixer, editor for MIDI, devices, and mixer down here. But let's go back to the range. And we can also, these little buttons down here, we can uh, go to our clip editor here. And we have different scenes, we have different clips. We can actually get just view all that. Add some extra stuff here. And we just have this view and we have all our scenes. And we can just play them from here. Okay, so that's the basic overview of Bitwig Studio. Um, see my other videos. We got lots more tutorials coming up. Talk to you soon.